you think you're doing? Oh my goodness! Oh, he wants to meet. Oh! He's, up, he's upset because we're going home. Good morning, Bobby and Ben as well. It's here. Unfortunately, this is our last day of holiday. We are in the Alberta Blue restaurant. We have just ordered breakfast. And this is it. It's our last day. It'd be nice to get back home to familiar surroundings, but not save a holiday usually always sucks. Hi, Daddy and Cooper. Coopy. 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 Hi, baby. Hi, hey, Cooper. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You want Daddy's breakfast? Look at that. Wowzers. And that's me. You've just had your last bottle in our holiday place. This is how we've left it, nice and clean, nice and tidy. I don't know if I took you guys outside, so I'm gonna quickly take you outside. So open the door. We're in a uh, villa, like a standing villa. Take you outside. And this is our courtyard. We've got like a nice little love seat there and a, like a table and chair set up. And there's just the air conditioning unit. Little garden, little garden. And then we come out here to the pool. Oops. Oh, like that. <laughs> we just walk straight out onto the pool. The pool as far as the eye can see. So straight out onto the pool, all the way down there. It's gorgeous. We're so lucky to be here. And there's a little um, shallow area there. That's it. <laughs> and we're back. Thanks so much for coming on holiday with us. It's sad to leave, but it's really good to get home. Um, whenever that will be. I think Michael's doing last checks now. Looking around, making sure that everything has been packed. And it looks like it has. I think we did a pretty good job. And that's it. Here. Aussie Jam Fam out. Just for a tasty treat <laughs> for us, not you guys. Um, we have just pulled up to the place where Mick and I got married. Uh, it's a little hotel called Yeah, called Squids Inc. It's on Lake Macquarie and it is picturesque. And we're about to go and well, I'm about to go and have a big dog. Have a little look in the gazebo where we actually got married in, in 2010. Long time ago. This is the view from the car. So nice, cute little jetty. We we had photos on that jetty. God, there used to be poles on that, I remember, because we used to set a camera up on that. And there's the gazebo where we actually, actually got married. And there's swans and beautiful, um, well, the ibis aren't beautiful, but the swans are nice. Um, and there's like, oh, you're right. And then there's sailing ships up in the distance. Anyway, we're gonna go out, aren't we? We're gonna go and have a look. It's just a fish. Don't care. Wow. Wow, Koopy. This is where we got the marriage, right here. Right here, Koopy. Return to the scene of the crime. We're here. Wow. And look, all our guests were sat here, Koopy. God, this is so much smaller than it used to be. Oh my God, they got a pool. Oh no, that's next door. That's next door. I was gonna say, wowzers, the beach. Wow. Can we go out? Come on. Say again? Really? 
Wow, look at all the swannies. Oh, I love ya. Wow, Koopy. Mm -hmm. Look, that's where we got married. Wow. I can't really see any fish. Hmm. <laughs> it's sparkly, isn't it? Look at all those. Look at the birdies, all the swans. Look over there. Look. Oh, it's a really great day for sailing, isn't it, too? I do too. Can we use their toilets? Oh. Doubt it, huh? Oh well. There you go. Bit of nostalgia. There you go. We brought our baby here. He's like, I know I'm being filmed. <gasps> You're amazing, mate. <gasps> Until I show you a nana. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you not handle it? Well, baby. Yeah. Now, what are you going to do? Is that better now you got your blinker on? Such a silly sausage. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. You come back this way. Come on, keep it. No, you leave those breakable things alone. Good boy. You want to come and have some porridge? Hi, I haven't vlogged um, since I think coming home. Saturday. Today is Monday. Um, I'm really sorry. I've um, I've actually, and this is hashtag real talk. I've actually felt really overwhelmed. Um, it's a big thing going away with a child. Um, packing is one thing, but unpacking and putting everything back is a totally different ball game. Um, did I pack too much in the first place? 100% I did. Um, I've had the washer and dryer going non-stop since we got home on Saturday. Um, we got home about 4-ish, maybe 4.30. Um, I think I did two loads on Saturday, four yesterday. I think I'm on the third or fourth one today, being Monday. It's, um, I've, I'm just feeling very overwhelmed and Mick's gone back to work today, which is fantastic. It's what he needs to do. Um, and I know how to be at home alone with Cooper, but it's been a week and it's funny how quickly you get used to things. Anyway, hello sweetness, do you want to be on too? <laughs> oh my goodness, um, thank you for giving me a laugh. As you can see, I've still got lipstick on. That was from yesterday. Um, not sponsored, but that Rimmel long stay vinyl, whatever it's called, is amazing. It just does not come off. Anyway. Um, that's not what I'm vlogging about. I'm vlogging because um, I'm, I'm actually just apologising that I haven't 
that I didn't vlog once we got home on Saturday and that I didn't vlog yesterday. Um, so when we got home on Saturday, like I said, I made a beeline for the washing machine. Um, that got a good workout. The dishwasher got a good workout too. I think I did one load and then re-stacked it, but we didn't turn it on um, because it wasn't full. Um, so that was Saturday. Sunday, um, which was yesterday, we went, uh, Michael went and picked the dogs up from boarding um, and they pretty much slept all day when they got home because he had to pick them up between eight and nine. Oh, I don't believe they came home with any toys um, and I don't believe they came home with any beds either. So they, they destroyed both of those. I do think they came home with some blankets, but I, I don't know how many. I know not all of them that we sent them with. Um, and like I said, they slept all day yesterday. You didn't really see much of them or hear much of them. They were just sleeping. Um, they obviously had a really good time on their holiday and they were tired. Um, yesterday, Michael and I and Cooper all had a nap in the morning together. It's funny how we, we didn't nap at all during the day on our holiday, but as soon as we get home, gone. Um, you know how they talk about people having to have a, a, a holiday after their holiday. Hello, it's real with a child not blaming him just my observations um so yesterday after we woke up from our naps we went food shopping i said to me i didn't want to go i didn't think i needed to um because i still had so much to do here but um there's absolutely no way everything was going to get done yesterday i've got bags and bags and bags of dirty clothes to wash and i'm, I'm i mean like a garbage bag it's like 30 liters there's a lot Ooh, that includes, you know, bibs, burp cloths, swimwear, towels, porta cot sheets, mattress protectors, baby towels, our clothes. There's just so, so much. Anyway, I'm trying really hard not to let it overwhelm me. I was just in the front bedroom folding a load. I just took out a dryer and I, I could feel the tears coming on and I just thought, no, don't. Don't let it overwhelm you. Um, your main priority is Cooper and he's safe and uh, watching his favourite YouTuber. He's just had lunch. Um, he's had a little nap. I have not. I, I usually would, but I have it. <sighs> you can see I need it. He woke me up at two this morning and I locked him back to sleep. And then he woke me up at five. He had a bottle. And he woke me up at eight again and then we were up there, which is eight is great. But just waking up at two and five is not. <laughs> to sleep all the way through the night <laughs> that's my aim anyway it did take him two nights to get into a proper sleeping routine while we were away so hopefully last night was our second night home so hopefully he um being cooper gets into a proper sleep routine from now on that would be wonderful um yes so yesterday that's all we basically did mark was an angel oh that's right so we went shopping my head's all over the shop. Went shopping. Um, like I said, I didn't think I needed to. But we were because Michael's got food shopping before and just left me at home with Coops and it's just it's quicker for him and then I can get stuff done here. But, you know, it turned it out. I needed a break. So we got out, did the shopping, got some char time. Well, our original plan was to get char time on Saturday on the way home, but it was already a six-hour trip home, which it should only be four hours. Um, it was a very long trip and I think we stopped three or four times with Coops and by the time we, we drove through our town where Char Time was, I'm like, I just can't even get out of this car. I just want to go home and fill that dishwasher and fill that washing machine and let's go. So um, we waited until after shopping, we got Char Time. I'm almost finished my second one now. So I had my coconut one yesterday and I've just almost finished my apple one now. I love that stuff. Um, while we're away, our, the outside of the shopping centre got painted, which is interesting. Um, and all Christmas decorations are up in there too. Um, and I said to the guy at Charter, I'm like, God, what else happened while we were gone? And he's like, oh no, they've got Christmas decorations up, it's not even Christmas. Um, that kind of makes sense because, you know, it's November. Early November, but still. Um, yeah. What else happened? We got some lunch! We came home here, I fed Coops, then we had lunch. And then, like I said, Michael was an absolute angel and took Coopy for the rest of the afternoon. 
so I could do a little bit of YouTube. Um, actually, they had a nap as well, which was good. Um, and I did, I actually filmed a haul um, and did a little bit of YouTube editing. Um, and boy, was I crazy to think that I could take my computer and all my gear away on holidays and have so much time to do YouTube. Boy, was I crazy. No, don't ever think that you can do that because you can't. Um, I thought, oh, well, I'll have plenty of downtime there. No, I didn't. I thought because it, it wasn't my home and because I didn't have lots of different things pulling my attention in all different directions, that I could do it. Mm -mm. Something always came up or something. So, um, and we didn't go out at night. Um, we're not going out at night because that disturbs people's sleep pattern, something bad. And then that disturbs our sleeping pattern and that's not good either. So um, we didn't, the latest we got, we went out, we just went to happy hour for three nights at um, the restaurant at our hotel. We got home before the sun went down, before seven o'clock. And that's when Koopy sort of, we're winding Koopy down. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is, you think you've got time and you don't. Anybody who can invent time or invent a way to slow time down or get extra time will be a gazillion, gazillionaire. Because that is one thing that money cannot buy, time. Um, and if somebody finds out how to do that, can you please sign me up? I'm so time poor. I know I'm not the only one. So today's Monday. Ollie is still at my mum's house. Um, I do believe Mick's going to go and pick him up after work. Then we'll bath him. Um, I don't know what she lets him do, but he always comes back filthy. I don't. She's got lots of indoor pot plants. Maybe he goes digging through them. I don't know. But he always comes back really dirty. So we'll bath him and then I don't know what we'll do for the rest of the afternoon. Probably not much. <laughs> Who's got the energy to do anything? Um, did you just shut the front door? Cooper? Better go and get that child by. 